Yes, I'm a lizard man. And in English, this means STXL is leaked. It is out there. The truth is on the internet. So today, I'm going to show you how to use it. It's super easy. You need ComfyUI, but it's also a bliss to install. You just download it and it runs. So let's get started here, my friend. So here is the post you want to check out. This is, of course, on Reddit. There is several links in here. And one thing I really, really want to stress out here is don't download any checkpoint versions of SDXL only save tensor versions because the checkpoint versions are fake and there is malicious code in there only the checkpoint versions are safe and this user was nice enough to even create a pruned version so you don't need to have a download of 13.5 gigabyte only 6.7 gigabyte for the file so you also need two files that's pretty important so you have here this link for the pruned version and this link leads you to this page here so it's still two files because as you know stable diffusion sdxl is working with a base file and then also a refiner file so this is rendering your images in two steps one after another and to make this run right now you have to use confui but you should also use confui you should try it out because this is a node based UI and this can enable you to do amazing things but also to understand stable diffusion much better and how AI images are generated and give you a lot more flexibility. So let's have a look at that too. So first of all we want to take a look at ComfUI. I have a video here that you can check out. It still works exactly the same way but I will also show you here. So if you already have installed Automatic 11.11 on your computer with the Python and so on you are ready to go. The only thing you need here is to scroll down here and you can see here installing ComfyUI. You click, this will scroll down a little bit further for you and there you have the direct link to download. Now this is a self-embedded file. Everything you need to have is already in there. This is a 7-zip file so you need to have a software to unpack that. There are different softwares to use. You can of course use WinRAR if you have that or there's also other free tools open source tools out there that you can use to unpack this file. Now once this is done you open up the folder of the unpacked file and in there is a folder called ComfUI Windows Portable and you drag that where you want to have that on your drive and then in there you have two files one is run CPU pad the other one is run NVIDIA CPU pad so of course if you have an NVIDIA GPU you want to use the second one double click and this will simply open up in your browser. But of course there's a little bit more you need to do here because you of course also need the models for that. So you have your ComfyUI folder, double click on that and then you have a models folder down here, double click on that and then in here you have a lot of different folders that you can fill up with your favorite models and everything you need to go. But Right now, we only need the, our SDXL files. So you want to double click on the checkpoint folder and you want to put these two files into that folder. Now, the same user who pruned the version for you also created a ready to go setup for these nodes. So you have a link here at step three. You want to click on that and this will open up this file here with a lot of information. Don't worry about that. The only thing you need to do here is to click here on the download button and this is going to download a JSON file for you. So like I said before, you want to double click on the run NVIDIA GPU bed inside of your ComfyUI folder. This is going to open up ComfyUI in your browser and then you drag in there the JSON file that I showed you before and it will open up all of these notes here already linked for you. You can scroll with your mouse in and out. You can click on the background and drag around this canvas here. And here you have all these points. They are already defined for you. So here you have, for example, the refiner choke point. So you want to click here. And from that list, you want to select the SDXL refiner. And then we scroll down here and you have the base model here. So again, you click and from the list, you select the SDXL base model. Now, let me give you a little rundown on how ComfyUI nodes work. It's actually pretty easy to understand once you get a little bit of a grip of that. So what you want to have here is a text field for the 
positive prompt and then also for the negative prompt this holds this kind of text information in here you can write in there whatever you want now this is then connected to the other notes so here we have a clip text encoder and this is using from our refiner model the clip out into the text encoder for the positive prompt and then also for the negative prompt you have the same thing down here again again we are using here a clip text encoder but as you can see here now the input comes from the base model upwards for the positive prompt for the negative prompt then what we also need to set up is the image size which happens here it's 1080 by 1080 as a base resolution for the sdxl model and the batch size in this case is one and for that we have a k sampler which is basically kind of the sampling area that you have inside of automatic 1111 with these different settings here so for that you can see here we have an input for the model in this case the base model the positive prompt the negative prompt and the latent image which is this size setup here which is an empty latent image then in here you have information for example the seed the amount of steps cfg scale the sampler name you want to use here the scheduler and the denoise setting now this of course has to be decoded from a latent image into a normal image that you can look at for that we need to have a vae decode now because the vae is already baked into these sdxl models this also as you can see here with this line is connecting back to the base model as I want to remember you, we have an out for a model, for a clip and for a VAE. So all of that is taken care of with just that one model. And so, as you can see here, when we have the VAE decode of the first step, this is the result without the refiner. When we look here at this beautiful lady, not quite as beautiful as you would have hoped from the amazing Tinder profile you have seen, that is kind of a... a how do you say catch fish but of course we have a refiner so we are still good here let's go for the refiner so how does this actually work well we have rendered here the latent image with the base model and you can see when you look closely here the latent image is then out put it from here with this line and goes up here to the second sampler as the input of the latent image so in this case we don't have a undefined latent image noise we have the rendered base latent image that has been defined and as you have seen a second ago so this is coming in here and then here we have the clip text encoder for positive and negative prompt those are now using the input for our refiner checkpoint for sdxl this is going in here as the model and also in here as the clip into the sampler again with all of these steps here set up for you and then you can go over here again for the VAE decode again we have a VAE input in this case of course from the refiner model and then we have here the input from our sampler output for the latent image and then be converted into the pixel image and now yes this is the person we actually wanted to meet look at her really beautiful the blonde hair the blue eyes everything as promised on the tinder profile i would say the result is pretty nice it's not mind-blowing of course because keep in mind this is the stable diffusion model from stability ai we will of course see in the future amazing models created by the community i can't wait for amazing things like realistic vision ref animated deliberate and so on in an sdxl format so the future is bright my friends now of course one more thing how do you make all of that run so it's actually rendering well over here you have a key you prompt button you want to click on that and this is starting your queue in this case we only have a batch size of one 
You can also set it to multiple images. One more thing before you go, if you want to experiment a lot more with Comfy UI, one thing you want to do is to right click on the canvas and here you have add node. You click on that and this gives you a list of all the nodes that are part of the original setup for Comfy UI. There is other nodes that have been created by the community that are not included here. Of course, you have to download them separately. What you can also do is you can double click here. This will open up this kind of search bar and in there you can also type what you want to have. So for example, if I type check, you can see we have here different versions of checkpoint loaders. Also check out this video here about the crazy things you can do with Comfy UI. I show you really cool examples. And of course, don't forget about my live stream on Sunday where we will experiment with this and other AI things. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>